to ownership by tomorrow. No doubt success breeds success and with hearts now in Europe, Jeffrey's thoughts today are of building on his squad. There's a big avenue to, to maybe building sides without uh, great amounts of money, but at the same time if there's a player that you want and you know his quality and he's not going to improve it and he's in contract, um, you've got to spend the money to get it. Hart's goals on Saturday came from a Colin Cameron penalty within the second minute of the game. Then in the second half from Stefan Adam with a well-taken shot from the right. But with nine minutes left, Rangers pulled one back from who else but Ali McCoist. 2-1 attended for Hearts, but today Tyne Castle Chief Executive Chris Robinson disputes the financial rewards have been huge. With paying out of bonuses, it's not as financially, um, it, it's a curious thing. Uh, we're delighted to pay out the bonuses and we're delighted that the club's been successful. Um, we make up now by selling more season tickets and merchandising and souvenirs, which I'm sure the fans are going to flock in and buy in the thousands. But what of one fan called Ego, who proclaimed on Friday's sports scene, if Hearts won the cup, he'd be hanging up his scarf for good. Promises are made to be broken, eh? And that one's broken, that one was broken at 10 to 5 on Saturday, immediately. So season ticket will be getting purchased ASAP and we're going back onto that again. Well done to all of them. Well, Middlesbrough midfielder Craig Hignett has been in Aberdeen this afternoon with a view.